My channel this is Priyanka and today's video is gonna be something really really exciting for all of you guys and for me as well because it's gonna be a street shopping video and as you can see in the title we're gonna be talking about Koti Sultan Bazaar street shopping and I must tell you guys I was pleasantly surprised like really really surprised <laughs> because I have usually shopped in other cities and in Hyderabad I've shopped in Jinder Bazaar I've shopped in some other street shopping places but Koti is something I haven't shopped in a very very long time as a child I did shop there but I have no idea like I don't remember anything so let's just say that this is the first time I went there and I was super surprised I love the quality I love the variety and the prices are amazing so let's get started and I'm going to show you guys what all I got this time and before that make sure to subscribe to my channel because I do a lot of Hyderabad street shopping videos and a lot of other fashion lookbooks styling videos and hauls uh, reviews and so many other videos and from the clip that you can see here I'm sure you'll be able to make out where exactly this is but I will leave a Google Maps location so these are a lot of street vendors you will pretty much find clothing uh, accessories footwear bags and everything actually so let's get started and i'm going to start off with the accessories i have like a whole bunch of things uh, firstly we have these bindis and i have uh, two different ones this is a colorful one and this is just red with stones these are for 10 rupees each and then moving on i got some accessories and look at these chanbalis uh, they're like such beautiful ones with some um, kundan sort of stones and these beautiful blue beads and this was for 100 rupees so he did not even quote high like this was on one of those cards and everything was pretty much affordable on this card so he quoted around 150 rupees and I had asked for 100 super good quality amazing I have an anarkali in this blue and I'm sure all of you guys have seen it on my Instagram um, it's a very nice blue and peach anarkali I think this will go perfectly well with that just loving them and the price too and then I got uh, one more pair of uh, like you know small uh, jumkas here and this those were for 50 rupees I have gifted them to a friend and from the same bundi I got like a couple of um, stud earrings these are uh, rose earrings and a uh, couple of uh, pearl studs and like you know very basic ones these have like three different sizes I can use them for my second top ears um, so these are all for 10 rupees each which is pretty amazing again and then we have these really cute hoop earrings with some pearls and some other beads these were for just 30 rupees which is really really cool uh, I think these are like lightweight and perfect for everyday use so this was it from this particular stall and I went a little further and I found one more stall where they had a lot of Afghan accessories and everything so I got a couple of them again I got these really beautiful chanbalis with green beads and these are so pretty and I have seen them on so many Instagram stores and I also have them in a different color but this one is pretty good the quality is really good and I got these mirror earrings for myself which I was wearing in my previous video with the I think Nampali exhibition hall and I absolutely love these and then I got one more pair of mirror earrings on the same stall which I gifted to a friend this guy had like amazing accessories and everything was quite affordable I got all three of these for 250 rupees so I think he got it like 80, 120 uh, and 100 for each of them and then finally I got 3 of them for 250 rupees which is a pretty good deal because <laughs> these are priced quite high uh, on Instagram stores and everything and I absolutely had no idea that Koti had such amazing accessories for such affordable prices just just super surprised and then I got a couple of nail paints uh, this is sort of that uh, almost transparent uh, white uh, and a slightly shiny textured uh, nail paint and I got two glitter ones uh, like one is a lighter blue and the other one is like a turquoise or like a darker greenish blue and each of these were for 20 rupees and I did try to buy it for 10 rupees and he would not give it up so I got them anyway that is it for the accessories and then moving on to watches uh, this I must say is quite a big surprise for me because I got these two watches 
Uh, this is the first one. I'm sure you guys have seen these on Instagram stores. This says Geneva and it has this threaded detailing with some gold or chain detailing and all that. It looks pretty good and I have seen them a lot on Instagram stores and others. And I got this for 150 rupees. I think he would have given it for 100 rupees as well. He initially quoted 250 and then I bargained for like 150. I I'm pretty sure he would have given it for 100. I think I misjudged that, but anyhow, they're awesome. This one is a Nike knockoff, uh, but it is an amazing color. I love mint blue and it has some pink detailing as well. It is super amazing. I don't care if it is an imitation or anything. Uh, I was looking for something in this uh, really nice mint blue and they had a couple of them in this one as well. Uh, the ones that say Geneva, <laughs> they had them in like a really beautiful red uh, strap with like some really nice gold one and I was also running short of money uh, so I just got those two watches and uh, this is inside the lanes uh, within the street there are a lot of vendors who were selling watches as well but I did not like any of them sub lanes had better things and there were a lot of shops like deep inside as well so you should definitely check out uh, both Besides the streets inside because they definitely have good collection and I think the prices are better there so on, Next thing that I got is this dupatta. It has mirrors not actual mirrors. It has these uh, um, Sheet mirror looking uh, kind of a thing and I love the border That's the reason I got it and if you've seen my KPHP street shopping haul You would have seen similar dupattas which I got in uh, blue and pink it is pretty much the same. It has like a bigger mirror in the center and the quality of the material is also exactly the same. It's just that it has uh, three layers in the back and I absolutely love this. I got this for 150 rupees. I did try bargaining it for 100 but he would not give it. And then next up I got this bag and it is amazing for college. If you are a college going girl then you must definitely try something like this. It was just for 180 rupees and the quality is pretty good. It has all this print. I got it personally because I like carrying quirky bags at times and yeah this is how the inside of it looks and it's quite long and the material is also quite good. It doesn't have like a sturdy bottom or anything but it is quite good. If you are going on like a beach vacation or something, you can just throw in things and do not don't have to worry about uh, getting spoiled. And this particular stall had fixed prices, so I could not bargain. And in the same shop, I got this pillow, uh, and I got both the pillow and the pillow cover uh, for four hundred rupees, which I think it's quite quite pricey. But including the pillow and the cover, I think it is okay. Yeah, the reason I got it is pictures of the sequin and how it goes well with my uh, background and everything. And then moving on footwear, I got two pairs of uh, these kind of slippers with uh, this really nice old studs and these are like super amazing. I love them. I love the color red. This color uh, would make anybody's feet look really beautiful. And the quality is okay, like the material is really good but the stitch of it is not that great. Here you can see two stitches which actually show uh, which I'm not very fond of. Even when I'm wearing them, they are a little flimsy. So the material of it is good. I think the sole and everything it lasts long but uh, the fit of it like you know how these this part is fixed and everything is a little flimsy but however I don't regret buying them I got these in black as well each of them were for 200 rupees I did ask for 100 150 it did not happen just bargain for uh, quite a lot of time and walked away and all that but it did not work and then next up I got these uh, furry slippers I got them in two different colors these are the blue ones with polka dots and I got them in like a bigger size. I usually wear like 39 or 40. It was quite difficult to find my size in all the colors. They had really nice colors like they had a sort of off-white with black stripes which I really liked uh, but that was not available in my size so I got this one. This was the only other thing available in my size. I'm not super fond of the color but it is very furry and super soft inside which is super comfortable and amazing for winters. I got these also for 200 each and yes same thing again I tried for 100, 150 did not work out. I am still okay with 200 because I do not find these at Nampal exhibition. I have been eyeing them like I've been looking for them usually Max and Lifestyle or uh, Ginger and Lifestyle have them but for their for like 4 99 or so so I'm pretty okay with the price. The next up I'm sure you're gonna love this. <laughs> I have this bag. Uh, it's super long and it's like a really study and you know amazing quality bag and I'm sure you have seen this in Zara and Mango. I have been seeing them. I've been meaning to buy something for office which can fit in a lot of things. Usual office stuff uh, if required laptop and lunch and everything. I wanted a big bag 
and uh, it has this really nice detailing and very comfortable and it has one more uh, big bag inside which you can place all your cosmetics in I've been using my Forever 21 bag which I got like two years back and that is still good uh, but then the zipper is gone so I've been meaning to buy something and I'm sure you guys have seen something like this in Zara mango and stuff and they are priced around 2500 and even during the sale they're not less than 1500 and also I have been looking at them but then the handles uh, are very thin and they're not very sturdy so I don't think they can hold weight <laughs> that's the reason I did not purchase them from Zara or Mango and this bag is for 850 which is quite pricey but I think it is okay because the quality is really good and this particular stall had a lot of bags for fixed prices actually the stall is fixed price that's the reason I couldn't bargain and also I did not see this bag I was actually near the footwear store bargaining for 150 rupees and my mom got this bag so things moms do <laughs> and the last thing that I have is this pants um, these are those really cute floral printed pants and the bottom looks like this uh, it's sort of like those harem pants and it has a super stretchy waist and quite baggy pants uh, so which are comfortable I think these will be really nice for the upcoming summer like very soft and I really like the material and this was for 200 rupees and I got this from one of the stalls which is inside the lanes and uh, this stall had a lot of uh, other clothing western clothing with uh, dresses and uh, different kinds of pants and trousers and everything but again the stall has fixed prices you can wear it in the night or you can wear it at home as well but I think I'm gonna wear it with like a white kurta I think it will look quite nice so that is it those are all the things that I got from Koti I hope you enjoyed the haul and let me know in the comments below which one's your favorite I would have to say that the bag is my favorite and then accessories it was amazing they had so many stalls and uh, street cars with accessories and everything is so affordably priced so if you are from Hyderabad or if you're visiting uh, and if you stay somewhere close you should definitely check out Koti uh, and Sudan Bazaar street shopping and I already have one video on now, Sudan Bazaar shopping which is from one particular store where I got footwear and party clutches and they have amazing deals always. It's from a store called Glam Walk which is also very close to this street uh, so you can check out that as well in case you're interested and in the description box I will leave the Google Maps location so that you can easily find this place and I'll also leave some landmarks. I hope this video was useful do let me know in the comments below how you like it and I know that I have a lot of uh, street shopping videos that you guys have requested and I do have them in my Mind. I'm trying to cover all the areas one by one and you will see a lot more of Hyderabad street shopping videos make sure to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss out on any such videos and also click on the bell button so that you're always updated when I upload a new video also find me on all my social media handles so that we can stay in touch and also you can see how I style everything and where I've been shopping and all that that is it for today's video guys thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed this and see you in the next video bye